Uh, today we're at the Jardine Tropical Hotel here in Tenerife and I'm speaking with Bet Becky Brewerton just after the first round of the ladies Tenerife match play. Becky, you always do well in Tenerife. Uh, you came second here once as an amateur in 2003. What do you think spurs you on about Tenerife? I don't know, it's re really strange actually because I, I seem to, to start this thing about playing well in Spain and, and Tenerife, obviously uh, part of that as well. Uh, even when I was an amateur, obviously finishing second uh, in a professional tournament. I, I really don't know what it is. Maybe part of it is the fact that I actually own a house in Spain and I practice uh, at Desert Springs uh, near Almeria quite a bit. So I, I kind of feel at home when I'm here and I'm trying my best to, to learn a little bit of Spanish as well and I, I just I'd love the whole thing. You're playing this week at the Golf Las Americas course uh, here in downtown Las Americas in Tenerife. What do you think of the course and the welcome you've been given here in Tenerife? I must admit it's, it's my favourite course on the island. It, it's very picturesque. There's some great views out there. The course is always uh, in good condition. The, the greens are, are superb this year and you can tell it, it's been well manicured and, it, and it's well looked after. And I think it's just a golf course that, that suits me as well. I like the long par fours and the par fives that you can get up on. The small greens means, you know, if you hit the green, you've, you've always got a pretty good birdie chance as well. But I love everything about the course. The LET have came up with this new match play format we're playing here in Tenerife this week. It seems to be suiting you quite well. Are you, you enjoying this format? Yeah, do you know, it's lovely just to, just to play a different format for a change. We get so used to playing straight play all the time, and obviously the only time I've played match play since becoming a professional is in the Solomon Cup. So uh, it is nice for a change. It's a good bit of practice, and, and I love the format. Playing playing one-on-one -on -one against someone, it's, it's a little bit more... Uh, I don't know what the word is. You, you can really get into it a bit more, and tactics are far more involved than just generally playing against 126 people every week. Many people know you from Twitter and Facebook, and I see you're actually building yourself a new website at uh, beckybrewerton.com. What's the thinking behind all this sort of social media? Well, just uh, obviously I was discussing it with, with my manager. He, he's got one point of view from it, obviously, to pr promote yourself, I guess, which, which is the main thing. But I had said for quite a while I'd, I'd like to sort of be able to interact with, with people a little bit more. And I guess when you, when you play on a ladies' tour, you're not really too sure if you have a big big following or not. And, and when I joined Twitter, I kind of thought this is this is a chance to interact uh, with people. And I was amazed, actually. You know, you... you all the different people that send you messages that you would have had no idea from all over the world um, just, just you know getting to interact with different people who, who want to know I think just a few more personal things about you rather than getting to know you as a golfer they like to know what you get up to off the course as well and, and it's a great way it's the sort of thing to be honest you know that, that I would like to know about people that I follow you know whoever it is celebrities or, or fellow golfers I follow a lot of them as well and it's interesting to know what, what they get up to as well in their time off and I just think it, it gives people a chance to get to know you a little bit better rather than just forming their opinion on how they see you behave on the golf course because you know, as you are on the course can be very different to how you are in, in your general life so it gives people a chance to, to know you a bit better. Becky, you seem to cope quite well today in the golf course with the sun and I notice you're wearing a rather snazzy um, golf shirt. Um, it's from the event sponsors, the clothing sponsors, Poodle Golf. Uh, I take it you like their clothes? Yeah, I mean, P Poodle have come on board this year as my clothing sponsor, and I have to say that the response I've had has been unbelievable. Uh, the amount of people who've commented on, on the different clothes, you know, I think I was pretty sort of plain in what I wore before, probably because I didn't have much confidence really but Wendy from Poodle has, has really helped me a lot she's, she's sort of helped me with what outfits to wear and, and really the, the stuff that I, I'm wearing is fantastic and it's just unbelievable the response I've had and I feel, I feel great on the course and I think if you feel good in what you're wearing I think it really genuinely helps you to play better if, if you feel good it's kind of that feel good play good kind of syndrome and uh, no, it's been, been fantastic I'm really glad that, that we're working together that's great. Becky, thanks for, for the short interview for the Tenerife magazine, and we hope you played it well for the rest of the week. Thank you very much.